Hello, in this video I'm looking at a question from the forum about inserting images within um, a kind of blog post. So imagine there's a blog post, maybe we've got a bunch of text and then below that an image and then below that text and then below that an image. How would we do that so it's dynamic and not hard-coded? So even the user could be uploading a post and have these images within the middle. Um, so if we look um, at the original question here, um, the user, Paul, has set it up as a collection of posts, um, which for a very basic post is kind of what we're looking for, but we're gonna have to do a bit more than that if we're going to have it so you can have images in the middle. Let's go over to this blank Adalo app I've just created. This one is a desktop web app, but it will work perfectly well as a mobile app. Um, so the home screen I will also set as the welcome screen for now. Okay, and let's have a collection for posts. And what will our post have? Maybe our post will have a title. Um, okay, and maybe it could have um, a thumbnail image. Okay, and going back here, um, you can see Paul had um, the actual article itself, um, the thumbnail, and a relationship to the user, so who made the post. Um, so we're probably going to want that, a relationship to a user. Okay, user, and let's say that's the creator. Okay, so let's always name our relationships so we can follow more easily later. Okay, now here is where we maybe require a different approach. Um, so I'm going to create a new collection called sections. Okay, and a section can have text, a section can have um, an image. Okay, and it also has a relationship to posts. A post can have multiple sections, but a section uh, belongs to one post. Okay, and then let's have a list here. And this can be a list of posts. Um, maybe logged in user posts or... Yep, I think that'll do. And we can just have the title of the post and on the left section we can have the post thumbnail image. Okay, and maybe we want a button to add post. And let's create a screen for add post. Okay, so uh, where we're going to add a post we can have a form, um, and there we can create a new post with the title and the thumbnail image. And then on the submit button, we can create a post and link to a new screen, um, and let's call that sections. Okay, also um, I didn't put an app bar here. So let's just add an icon in case we want to navigate back. Okay, um, now on this section screen you can now see we've got available data current posts. Okay, and just for our information maybe we want the post name at the top, which is the title. Okay, and then we're going to have the sections. So what is a post section going to look like? Um, and to do this, maybe let's just jump back a second and go to our list of posts and make the screen where we display a post. So there we'll link to a new screen, view post. Um, I'm gonna do app bar. Okay, so the user has clicked on uh, the name of a post and They've gone to this screen, view post. Okay, and on this screen, we can have 
the post title. Okay, and maybe a post um, a thumbnail image. Okay, and let's just make that small. Um, something like that, maybe. Okay, um, then below um, the title and the thumbnail image, we're going to have a custom list. Okay, and this is going to be a list of sections. So we can have different sections of the post. And for now, let's just get the layout. So we want the section to be maybe quite big, um, like so. And we can have a section with an image, which can be, um, let's just check this. Okay, so there we go. The rectangle had come out of the list there. Okay, we'll fix that in a moment. There we go. Okay, um, so that image will be current section image. Um, but if there's no image, we won't show anything. Okay, and then let's put that so it's centered and below the image we can have text which can be current section text okay and make sure the style of it is multi-line which it should be by default um, so let's see what we've got here we've got this list of sections um, a section could be an image which will appear or it could be text or it could be both, and um, if it doesn't get added, it's not going to appear. Um, and to make this seamless, maybe we just want to um, remove the shadow um, from this rectangle so that you can't tell that it's, it's a list as such. Okay, so that is how um, a post is going to get laid out and get built on our screen. So let's go back to our sections part up here and we're going to want maybe something really quite similar to that and then we're going to be seeing um, as we create our sections we're going to see them appear here and then let's have a button which will um, add section okay and that can link to a new screen um, and let's do a modal, add section modal, um, create screen, and we're just going to make sure that transition is modal. Okay, now in this modal, we're going to have a form where they're adding a section. Okay, so we're going to create a section. Um, where they can add text or an image. Let's make sure they're not required so that they're optional. Okay, um, so it's sort of up to you how you make this. Um, you know, you could make it so they're choosing whether it's an image section or a text section, but I think it should work fine if it's both. Um, and for the text, I'm going to make that a multi line input. Um, and on the submit button it will create that section um, and it can link back okay and just checking the automatic field it's getting added to the current post because we have that relationship there with posts um, okay and just as always it's good to have some sort of back arrow or something to close it uh, for when you're navigating around okay so there we go we've got that section text and we've got that section image I don't want to go into too much detail but what we're going to see is um, you can see this list um, sorting could be from um, created newest to oldest
So you've got to think when you're creating the blog post, um, you probably want to, um, mm, maybe the other way around, sorry, we'll have that um, created date um, oldest to newest. So the first thing you add will appear at the top of the blog post and so on. Um, and then also we probably want to, so you can um, delete a section in case you make a mistake. So that can be an icon that will delete current section. Okay. Um, right. There we go. Okay, so I think uh, we can fill in some example data and see how we go here. Um, and it's probably useful to make a user. So what I'm going to do um, is make the welcome screen the login screen. And we'll sign up, make a user, and add. Um, try to add a post in sections. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm just going to make uh, an example user, hi at hi.com, and sign up to this new app. Okay, I've signed up, and we're on the home screen. We've got the opportunity to make a post. Okay, new post one. And let's add a thumbnail image. Okay, and create a post. Okay, so we're now on the screen where we've got our title at the top and we can add a section to the post. So let's add a section and here I'm going to the um, a Lorem Ipsum generator where we can just copy and paste a load of example text. Okay, so let's say the first section is just going to be text. Let's create the section. And we can see it appears up here. Um, let's add another section. And this time, let's do it as an image. Create section. OK, and that is appearing below. OK, and let's add another section. Let's have text and an image. Okay, and you can see um, it doesn't matter if it's just text or just an image, it all kind of works. And we could um, delete one of these sections if we didn't want them. So let's go back now all the way to the home page. And on our home page, we've got the post name displayed with the post thumbnail. And viewing it, we can see um, we've got um, our image, we've got text, we've got image, we've got a text. Okay, um, there is a bit of a gap here. Um, let's just work out why. So one possible um, issue we've got here is, let's have a look. Okay, there we go. The only issue I believe is the sorting. So we wanna make sure um, on the view post as well as on the other page, we have that created date um, oldest to newest, then that should display correctly. Okay, and there we go. Um, everything is displaying in the correct order. Um, so that really summarizes the answer to the question how we might uh, be making a blog post. I can see there is a bit of a gap here. Um, but I don't want to make this um, much of a longer tutorial and this really sums up the basics of um, how I'd be putting that together. Okay, so um, any questions please let me know and I'll do my best to answer.